What's up guys and welcome back to Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today is incredibly special because there is finally a brand new boss hunt, the first new boss hunt of 2017, it is the King's Day out. The Yeti King is on the loose, barreling down the mountain towards Frosty Creek, stop him before he creates a never ending winter, a cold cold winter. Warning, boss hunt is very difficult. Teamwork is encouraged, which is exactly why we have our backyard open. As you can see, one Super Herd member has already joined, which is very awesome, and hopefully soon we will be seeing some more. Oh, there you go, as soon as I say that. So, I'm gonna be taking a minute to wait it out to see, you know, who joins and everything, and then as soon as we're ready to go, we'll hop in and try to enjoy some boss hunt. All right, here we go, I'm excited. I don't know what other people are gonna choose, so I'm gonna wait it out here, but with this being said, this is my perfect moment to explain some things. If you're new to my channel, or if you're new to boss hunts, or at least playing with me with boss hunts, as you see, our backyard is open, and all three people we're playing with are all Zebra Herd members, which means you guys who subscribe, so that's awesome. With that being said, if you want to see when my backyard is open, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description of every single video for this weekend. It's gonna be very important that you pay attention to that, to make sure you know, you know when I'm gonna be posting videos or when I'm gonna be recording them. I'm recording this one like during school hours, so I know a lot of Zebra Herd members might not be available to join. So if that's the case, I'm sorry, but we'll try to play a little bit more later, but I'm the only Sunflower, but that is okay. I'm playing super rainbowed out, so I think that we'll be doing good. I think I'm pretty confident with this, but um, yeah, the bait trap's over here. And Hopefully we'll go for easy first. I don't know if anybody's gonna be rushing towards it. If not, I mean, that works for me. We're not playing with any randoms. Like I said, all three people here are part of the Zebra Herd or, you know, in my PSN friends list. But we're gonna go for the, oh yeah, that's right. You can't anymore. But we got the melting ice cream, a prized possession of a forgotten frozen age. Very, very cool. So I forgot, it does work differently now. You used to be able to spawn in anything. But that's not the case anymore because of the fact that they changed it for a very good reason. You have to be easy mode to be able to spawn in hard mode. Now we do have a decent amount of plant pots and we of course are gonna be able to spawn in flowers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But they do actually have a new pack available. That's like 20,000 each which will give you more plant pots. So I will probably maybe do like a little spending spree on that if you guys are interested. I don't know though. I don't know if people would be too interested. Maybe we'll like buy like one pack at the end of today's episode. We definitely will try to um, get ourselves some wonderful, uh, what's it called? I'm just gonna be focusing on healing most of this game because honestly, I'm super tired. <laughs> my sleep hasn't been very good so far. The King's Army approaches. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be playing Boss on again. It's really been two months. It, it's been such a long time, so I can't wait. They just played this a whole bunch. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. But so far, so good. Hopefully it won't be as confusing as some other boss hunts. Here, let me go ahead and give you guys some heals. I'll go ahead and throw this down right here, just in case y'all need it. And then also think about, you know, like the good thing about Snuffy Sunflower is that we're gonna be able to vanquish people and drop some, some easier heals for everybody so that they can keep on vanquishing things too. Sometimes I'm gonna get frozen, but I have a feeling everybody's gonna get frozen quite a lot though. Like that's gonna be a big requirement of this boss hunt. Oh boy. Now we've of course had a similar one with the Sasquatch was the first ever boss hunt. So this is the fourth one now. So it's interesting to see how things have progressed, how similar this guy might be to the Sasquatch. Like, of course we had to go around destroying uh, Zomburgers for the Sasquatch. I wonder what we'll have to do here. The ice cream keeps cool. All right, cool stuff. And what's going on over here? There's more stuff. But of course guys, if you have played, oh, some Yetis are spawning in. All right then. But if you guys have played the new boss mode like we're playing right now, feel free to let me know your thoughts on it. If you've completed it, what difficulty have you completed it on? All of that kind of cool stuff because I always want to hear what your progress is. And like I said, if you have PS4 version, feel free to let me know and I'll be opening up my backyard from time to time to play with you guys. So that's gonna be super awesome. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for a boss mode. Like this has been like my most wanted thing for the last few months, just a new boss mode. So I'm glad we finally have one. Oh boy, I'm getting a little torn up here though. I might get taken out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh boy. Okay. Eel, eel, eel. Thank you. And gotcha. All right then. So get you guys as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is not good. Oh no, I have one else. Ah. <laughs> there I go. Um, I might just want to self revive unless these guys got me. Ooh, it looks like they got me. All right then. Thank you so much. Here, I'm gonna quickly throw down heals if I can. I mean, I'll throw them down on anybody I can. Put you right there, I'll heal you up. Right now, this Colonel Corn is on point with getting these quick revives. I don't know who got it there, but it doesn't matter. He's helping out big time. Everybody's doing well. 
Oh boy, let's get you some heals too. And then I'll try to spawn in some stuff. I don't know how many on. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I'll get a dance, and I think he's. Does the Yeti. Did, did he just dab? Did this Yeti just dab? <laughs> what was that? Okay. Apparently this Yeti keeps up with the kids nowadays. The pop culture attacking him doesn't seem to be doing any damage. So let's see if we can't, you know, keep it so, man, he's throwing the smack down on me so far. It doesn't look like we're doing any damage. I'm getting in the way of the pea shooter. So what do we have to do here? We got 24 minutes to defeat him here on the easiest, you know, difficulty. Oh boy. I wonder what how we're gonna get for this. Or if we're, you know, like what are we gonna get in general? Probably something for the zombies? I don't know, well no, we're fighting his plants. We should probably get a plant early on him. that one of the beginning sense. Yeah, the king begins to do something. What is he doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> probably doing more hip dance mood. Winter's grasp. Uh oh, what do we gotta do? Um, we gotta destroy this disco zombie? Okay. Oh, I get it because he likes to dance. All right then, so we got 14 seconds to destroy him though. Holy cow, that is not much time at all. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's really tough. To destroy him in like that little of time. No, 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 he can't take damage when he's like this, no! Oh boy, oh boy, oh the perfect rainbow flower placement though. Oh no, 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 he gets closer though. He gets closer, somebody give me some room. Yeah, okay, we got him. There's another one down, but, and there's another one. Oh, is that one not what I was supposed to be focusing on that whole time? I thought that's what I was supposed to be focusing on. <laughs> I guess not. I swear that the reticle was on him. I'm just being a dingus then. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the popsicles as much as we possibly can. I'm glad I took care of that disco zombie though, because he would have gotten me if I didn't get him. Oh, look at me, Zebra being a real team player, right? Missing the whole objective of the game. Whoops. <laughs> All right, then the Yeti King was interrupted so we can go and fight him now, I'm guessing. Do some damage, the King Army's approaches. Are we doing damage to him though? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, probably not then. I don't know, that's weird. Because usually at this point, there's something that happens where we can trigger being able to damage him. But so far, that's not the case. I need to get more healing out for sure though, if I can manage it. Oh boy, oh boy. Here, get rid of you. I mean, of course, vanquishing people with the stuffy sunflower will get me the heals I'm looking for, so. Oh no, I'm coming, I'm coming! Get those heals! That was good, that was good. So let's try to focus on whoever we can here. It looks like there's like a tiny bit of the Eddie King's health down, but I don't know if that's like just, I don't know. Really weird. Hmm, let's get this up right there. Good, good, good. I mean, so far, so good, we're holding up. We're starting to get a little low on health, like everybody around us, but I'm doing what I can to keep everybody in like high healths and then high hopes. Oh boy, back it up, back it up. Well, this is so cool so far, like I'm enjoying it. It's a little confusing, but you know what? It, it always is at first. It always is a little tough to figure out what you're doing in Boss Hunt the first time you play it. There is a pea shooter up there that is super low on health that I'm gonna try to heal, but he might be a little too far away. Come on. Come on, oh, I can't get it. A King's Fool has appeared. What does that mean, like a Jester? I have no clue. Um, oh, look, it's an Imp. <laughs> that makes sense. If anybody was a Fool, it'd be an Imp. So it's just a champion that I can actually hit pretty well from here. Ooh, we're, we're adding some damage on him. Okay, I gotta get you guys down. Ooh, my fire rate is so incredibly fast. Get this health, thank you. I definitely think this is a better choice than the Vampire Sunflower, because I'd be able to keep it full health more often but it would also be an issue of, I wouldn't be able to heal everybody else as much. Here, I'll get you some heals. So there we go, we've gotten that. Oh, what was that? Super sunshine power. Ooh, so can we get you now? Like who has the damage up? Is it just, oh, it's just a kernel corn. I think he has to like maybe put him in the range of that circle, if he can. Well, everybody's, everybody in the circle gets a damage upgrade. Oh, I get it, that is so cool. All right, I'm gonna try to destroy him as fast as possible, and then I'll try to throw some heals when I can, but for right now, I just need to get that damn ex explosion. Okay, okay, oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna self-revive then. Self-revive real quick. Don't worry, don't worry. And then heal you guys up. Oh boy. No, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying. There's too many people. <laughs> oh boy. Buddy, can you back it off? Oh geez, I might have to mess with my sensitivity. There we go. A few people had to use self-revive there, but that's okay. I'm gonna be able to get you back up. As long as I can get a few of them. Oh, I got down again. Jeez, this is crazy. I definitely see where the double sunflower strat can really help out here too. Next time we do that though, next time we're all grouped up, I need to throw out the heal flower first. Like that'll be a big strategy I'm gonna need to do. But we did some good numbers on him there. When all, all of our damage is boosted. Last time we've seen like damage boosting like that was with the squash boss hunt, which that one was pretty darn tough. So 
I'm hoping to see if it'll be as tough as the squash by the end of the day. Like, this one we get though, like, usually they're pretty hard to, you know, like, understand what to do the first round, and chances are the first round you almost always lose, just because you gotta figure out what to do. But this one so far, it's clear. It seems like everybody's getting the memo, which is a really good thing. Let's go ahead and get you. And the winter's grass is coming on by, so where is it this time? There's one right over here, so I'm gonna try to attack that. And I'm trying to keep a good balance of healing everybody, and also being able to, you know, vanquish things a lot. So let's get you, and then we gotta get this one, and we have 18 seconds, it's right here, so I can't get it from this angle. Luckily, this is a big and open map. The last time we had things we had to hunt down like this, with the Zomburgers, the map had a lot more obstacles to it, so it could be way more difficult to usually land the shots on some of these things. As I say that we get one, it's like way out of the way. I can't get it from here. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now I'm getting it, now I'm getting it. This one is definitely the farthest out of the way I've seen. There you go. Then where's the next one at? It's up there, oh, perfect. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha, extra time for us. There's still one over there. There's another one up here that I'll get. And we're sort of starting to get low on health, so I might uh throw down my heal flowers. There's not enough room and I get frozen. Wow, okay, that was totally my fault. But jeez, I'm stinky. <laughs> it's just the zombies weren't giving me any room to actually spawn in the heal flower. There you go, I'm gonna get you guys. Don't do ZPG me. There we go, the Yeti King was interrupted again. There's still a disco zombie running around. See, if this was like last time, I would have been able to get that. <laughs> the King's army approaches. But now we're gonna be able to deal with it nice and easy. Like, it won't be that big of a deal. So now we gotta deal with the King's army. I don't know exactly who we need to vanquish, but I'm going to assume it's the Yeti. If we can vanquish the Yeti, then I'm pretty sure that we can go ahead and like immediately, it's, he, he drops a popsicle, right? Who knows? Let's find out. Ooh, got you. And let's see if he did. I'm frozen, I can't do anything. So he did not drop the popsicle, which might mean there's more yetis to come? I don't know, oh boy, I'm about to die again. Come on, come on, back it up, back it up. Heal you, and then plop that down. I'll heal you guys in a second, but for now, we got reinforcements to deal with, the yeti army. This is cool though. It would be cool in the future if we see like, I mean it would have to be like, the difficulty would have to be fine tuned, but it'd be cool if like the yeti and the sasquatch team up for like a double boss fight. Like, that would be super cool, wouldn't it? Something like that. It's funny, because like the Sasquatch at this point is like the opposite of the Yeti. Because the Yeti is like in the ice area, the Sasquatch was in the desert area, the um, sandy sands or whatever. I just think we have to be able to deal with the army for a specific amount of time. The King's Fool has appeared, until the King's Fool appears. And then, we can destroy the Imp. So I don't know like if it's like a set amount of time or a set amount of vanquishes. I'm just trying to destroy some dudes so I can get some health back. Hopefully they won't hit me. There you go. And that imp is almost down. I'll do what I can. Here, I got you, I got you. Ooh, got you like that. Oh no, oh no indeed. Oh no, I'm frozen again. Being frozen so often though, it's crazy. Looks like the pea shooter's picking up. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, we gotta group up with you. Everybody stick together. Stick together, we got this. We're playing well, like the teammates I got right now are really awesome. I wish I could do more, I, I I probably shouldn't. I need to dedicate myself to healing. But you guys need to stay in the circle. No damage is gonna come to us if we don't stay in the circle. So, but it's good that it's like that. Like that's totally different, which I really like. Should I use my last self revive? I think I should because we need to attack the Eddie King as soon as possible and I need to get heals to these guys. The longer this person survives, the better for us, right? So, let's try to get that figured out, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Heal flowers up, heal flowers up. Over here, over here. Heal you, oh boy. And I'm delivering as much heals as possible, but it wasn't enough. All right, that was still decent. We're almost halfway through now. I don't think shooting you right now is gonna have too much of an effect. And I feel like a double sunflower would be good though, because the healing dis distribution you really need is pretty crazy at this point. Oh boy, get you. But I'm having fun. Like, so far this isn't frustrating difficult. Like. Now that we've had like four boss hunts, like we can sort of gauge like which ones were too difficult and which ones were just right. I feel like the first one was just right because it took a while for people to really figure out the, like the status quo of boss hunts. But now that we have, like people really get it and that's why the first one was super difficult. The second one with the, um, with the squash, that one was way too difficult. Like very few people were actually able to complete it and now unfortunately, I'm out of uh, self revives which is bad. And even if we lose here, I might actually, you know, give it a second attempt in this video. We'll have to see. We'll have to see indeed. There we go, we're back up. Come on, come on. Oh, we got you. You're going down. We'll heal you up. Oh geez, let's get this one. 
I didn't even realize these guys were spawned in, but let's get some extra time where we can. Come on, boom, gotcha. There is another one, I heard a ding dong. It's over here. Boom. We're super on top of it right now, we're doing great. Cool. Hopefully while they're focusing on it, I'll throw out a heal flower. You are in one place, so I'll definitely try to uh, put you there. Hopefully the kernel corn can, wow, that's actually really horrible placement. Like, because we just got two in like, not so good spots. But I can hit it from here though, so this is really good. Ouch, I'm being hurt though. Oh gosh, we're running out of time big time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to go in this mode, and I just gotta destroy it as fast as physically possible. Yes, okay, extra time for us. Ow, I'm about to die, about to die, get some heals, get some heals, no, I gotta reload, no, oh, come on! Oh my gosh, wow. And I, They need to be able to get that, they need to not worry about me. Oh no, this is bad. Because I'm guessing if we don't get all the popsicles, we'll probably all get knocked out. That's usually what happens, so we'll have to use our first team revive, and that won't be good. I'm just trying to stay on top of the heals as much as physically possible. Get this one, we got 25 seconds, so we are in good timing right now, and he's just dancing. I love the Yeti King. He just sits there and chills down. Now my question is the Frosty Creek Turf Takeover map. At the end of it, you get to unlock the Yeti King and he starts dancing. Does he have a crown? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he does though. I'm pretty sure he has a crown. The King's army approaches, so I guess we got all of them, which is good. Oh boy. You can hear the ice crashing down on the bridge over our heads, which is sort of scary when you think about it. I'm just trying to vanquish whoever we can here, get some heals out there. We can, like I don't really know if it's worth like attacking him right now because I just don't think it does any damage. Here, get some heals, get some heals everybody. And I think I might actually, if we do this again, like if we are somehow unsuccessful, even though, okay that was just a normal Yeti. <laughs> I got him mixed up with the Yeti King. It's hard to tell when everything's exploding. But I might actually switch back to the normal heal flower just because the, the rainbow flower is good for like healing one person because it disperses one heal at a time, but I definitely want that triple heal right now. I think that would be good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get you as much as I possibly can. Help you out. But yeah, shout out to everybody who's joined me so far. Like, you guys are doing great. Everybody has like a lot of eliminations or vanquishes and stuff, so that's really good. I think everybody's sort of putting in the work. Like, there's no slacker right now, which is great. Or nobody like falling behind or anything. So that's really, really good. Like, usually you have like, you know, it's hard to find like a balanced team, especially, you know, like when I'm opening up my backyard for anybody to join. Okay, the King's Fool has appeared. And where is he? He's actually over that way. And things like the difficulty seems to really ramp up as soon as the king's full spawns and everybody's running that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a healing flower right here and hopefully people just sort of group up with me. Come on, be careful, be careful. Heal yet, there you go. And I don't care who gets it, I don't think it's a good idea for me to get it. Even though maybe it would give people an excuse to group up with me. Here, I'll heal you up if you wanna come with me. We just gotta go ahead and destroy you now as much as possible. And as long as we stay in the circle, it's hard to keep up with him because he's a fast pea shooter. But there we go. Ooh, we're gonna be able to destroy him. So much damage, so much damage. Ooh, and I'll try to stay on top of it. I'll try to stay on top of it. Just use all of the power right away. Holy cow. So the spring's radiance does only last for about 10 seconds, or like, I mean, only has 10 seconds remaining. So even if, or, you know, the person dies within that time, it's like, it's not a huge difference at this point, but we are doing some major damage to him this time around. Crazy progress there. All right, awesome stuff, guys. I'll try to heal up whoever I can. Destroy this buckethead so he drops some heals. I just feel like Steffi Sunfire is definitely a good way to go. Let's get you a little bit. My fire rate is insane, because I like I have this character max, so I have what I perceive to be the best upgrades on her, and she's doing really good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, get you. Come on, come on, come on. We're doing okay, spawning another heal flower here, another one here. And I probably need to be spawning in more plant pots more than I am. Just, <laughs> I'm so frugal with it because you just run out so easy in this game. So we have 11 minutes to basically finish up the game, I think, and I think we'll be able to do it. Yeah, I can, here, help out with this. I didn't see that, I'm sorry. Ellie, there you go. So who needs heals right now? This pea shooter does. Right now we're just sort of hanging out, waiting for, um, you know, whatever we need to happen, happen. Because nothing's really spawning in right now, so. Ooh, that chili bean though. Oh no, my yellow flower! Luckily I'll get another one in soon. The Yeti King begins to dance, so I'm guessing that means a popsicles. I'll admit, he he has some moves. I agree, he's got the moves. If it wasn't that he was so evil. I love how they, that's like the reason the disco zombie's spawning in too. Oh, they have little faces on them. Oh, that's cute. It's like those kind you get from like the ice cream truck. 
Oh boy, where's this one? That one's way up there, actually. That is not a good spot, especially when I immediately get frozen. Ow, ow, ow. Um, oh, okay. You know what, you guys are gonna have to deal with that one. I'm gonna just try to heal. We got like a healing station over here, though. This is really cool. Oh boy, oh boy. And I still can't get rid of these dudes. They just won't stop. I can't stay above like a decent health. That is crazy. Oh, this is not looking so good. Hopefully everybody's still eliminating it. It's just three people right now. One of them's super low. Oh, this is intense. I love it, but it's super duper intense. Okay, guys, we can do this. So I have a super duper, like so much faith in these guys out because we've done so well so far. I'm curious to see how much more difficult the more difficult areas are. Of course, I think it's just gonna take some practice. Um, you know, getting used to it, getting used to playing a boss hunt again. Honestly, I'm just not used to playing boss hunts too. Like that's just something I'm not used to right now just because we haven't done it in two months. I'm out of practice. But hopefully, you know, I'll be able to play a lot of Garden Warfare 2 this weekend. Just be able to really, really enjoy this because it's a lot of fun. It always is. And got you. And I hope this is, you know, like so far this is a great start for when I, for boss hunts in 2017. I mean, a lot of people I think sort of gave the opinion, and I'm not saying I agree or disagree, but just sort of like a lot of people think that like the boss hunt seemed to have started off really well and then started to linger off in negative ways towards the end of everything. So I'm glad that it seems like we're getting something that people really like so far. Or at least I think people are really gonna like this. Of course, I'm playing it as soon as I, you know, like this is the first thing I did today. <laughs> so um, I have no clue if uh, other people are weighing in on it and they are liking it or not. But that's what the comment section is for. If you let me know what you think about the new boss hunt, I'm gonna go ahead and heal you up. Well, let's see what we can do here. Probably take care of the Disco Zombie if he wasn't invincible. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, I'm cornered. Are you kidding me, dude? Back off, you big bully. Oh, no, 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 please, someone help. Oh, no, yeah, I gotta destroy you so that you can give me heals. Luckily, I can without too much strife. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. I'm, I'm coming, Colonel Corn. I got you, I got you. Hang out in my heal flower. All right, then, so I think we need to take care of this guy right now. Like, he's gonna be a big problem if we don't. Ooh, the chili bean's gonna get him. Almost, almost. But I do really like the new change um, for, you know, if you haven't defeated easy mode, you cannot choose above easy mode. That makes sense, in my opinion, because that was a big issue for people playing pubs, like maybe if you don't have a group of four people available at every given point in time, which is most people, you know? If you don't have a group of four people, you know, available, you gotta play with online random people, and sometimes they'll be like, man, I have no idea how to play Garden Warfare 2, I got it last week, scrumptious difficulty, let's go, and then they immediately die, and then they disconnect, and like, good good luck, rest of the team. So hopefully this'll sort of fix that issue. Um, my idea was to have a voting system, where each player gets to choose, and you know, you just vote, and if you forget the vote, it just um, it's automatically the easiest one. Oh, I'm on my way, some flower, no, okay, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm coming though. There we go, just at the last second, getting some heals in now. I'm gonna try to stay back because I don't have much health. I can heal you, but I can't heal myself right now. Ooh, and we got you. Awesome, awesome job. I'm gonna keep healing you for now. And we're gonna find that Yeti. Get him, take him down. He is ours for the taking. Oh, come on, this is gonna be good if we can get, get him in a good spot. The problem is that we're wasting precious time simply trying to find him. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, heal you up, and then we just gotta destroy him. Throw is whatever we can at him. Throw whatever we can at him. Our pea shooter's getting a little low, but not too low. Ooh, come on, he's so low, can we do it right here? Come on, oh, heal up, heal up, we did it, yes! Awesome, the enchanted ice cream has been unlocked. Amazing stuff, great job. Great job, everybody, that was awesome. And we get the Yeti King's crown for the Colonel Corn. Awesome stuff, that looks so cool. And it's for like my favorite character, Colonel Corn, so that's gonna be awesome. Great job to everybody who joined me. We defeated the easy difficulty, or I guess normal difficulty, Yeti King. And that's great, how many coins are we gonna get for that? Hopefully a good amount. We can only hope, we can only hope indeed. Let's see, boss defeated. Okay, so let's see. Over 10K, that's good. So 17,340, not bad for about 30 minutes. We get some rainbow stars out of that as well. We're gonna return to the backyard now, though. 
All right, then, so there was the Yeti King boss, and it looks like the game disconnected everybody. They might rejoin, they might not, but that was amazing, a lot of fun, and was exactly what I was hoping for so far. The Yeti King is really, really cool, so thank you to all three of those who joined me. You know who you are. Thank you for being very, very awesome. I will be recording more later today as of this being uploaded, which is the day this is being released. So like I said at the beginning of the video, follow me on Twitter if you want to be updated on when I'm going to be opening up my backyard. But for now, let's go ahead and end off the video by opening up the 10 star chest to see what we get inside. Hopefully something rad. It's just going to be one item, but it'll be definitely a cool one to open. So let's get all the coins here and let's see what we get inside the yellow chest. I can only hope it's like something part of a set that I already like am making progress on. Maybe not, but the zombie flick set, it's a common. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Flange vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Yeti so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.